I think there were people in January that didn't sell because of the tax implications. So if they would have known about the DST and being able to do that, they would have locked in some gains. What, what, what can that mean for the industry, Peter? Uh, I mean, that's an amazing opportunity, right? I mean, there's just, the, there's no other real tax vehicles right now where you can do that. Um, to be able to actually take, as we said before, you know, taking chips off the table when you, when you've had a good run is so much part of the disciplined uh, wealth building strategy. And, you know, both in equities and in cryptocurrencies, I think there were people in January that didn't sell because of the tax implications. So if they would have known about the DST and being able to do that, they would have locked in some gains. But I think people just look at it and say, well, I'm not giving up 40% of this, right? So it keeps them from doing the smart thing. Yeah, it keeps them from selling high and, and practicing what's called optimal timing, which is what we really focus on as our key value here at Capital Gains Tax. So just, if you want to learn more about this and how you can do this for your cryptocurrency exit, you can go to capitalgainstaxsolutions.com, uh, cats capital gains tax solutions.com. So Peter, uh, the second part of this part of this equation though is can I defer capital gains taxes? I mean, we scheduled that, but can I eliminate my estate tax? Because I mean, there's crypto billionaires out there right now, right? That have hit the, you know, more than hit the lottery on crypto. I mean, they're, they're heavy, heavy hitters and they have, you know, billions of Bitcoin. And you look at that and you say, well, it's not just a capital gains tax challenge. It's an estate tax challenge, which is 40% on the death tax of anything that's inside a taxable estate. And so uh, you can try to give it all away to charity or you can try to gift it as much as you can to your kids, but you run out of those exemptions. So talk about the value of being able to exit and we have what's something called the Deferred Sales Trust Plus that has no limit to it, that moves the funds outside of the taxable estate. To me, that's the biggest elephant in the room versus being, being out, have to suffer the 40% death tax. So what would that mean if, if what I'm saying is true? Well, I, I certainly would like to hear more about it. I mean, they everybody knows what the limitations are right now. You know, there was fear uh, amongst plant uh, planners that the Biden administration was looking to really lower those limits. That hasn't happened yet. Uh, I believe the higher limits expire in 2025 before they go back significantly lower, uh, which will bring even more people into that that area where they'll have to pay a 40 percent estate tax. Yeah, absolutely. And it's it's subject to the largest full transition history of the planet's happening with the baby boomers, and it's it's happening right now. And so, uh, if you want to learn more about that again, go to capitalgainstaxation.com.